Welcome back to Art Studio Confidential today. I'm actually in my classroom and I'm getting drawing supplies ready for my art students who are coming in and looking through tubs of things that they've left from last year and uh, things that I have on hand. But one of the first questions that we'll address is what in the world are all the numbers and letters on the back of my drawing pencils? You can see I've got some over there. And so if you stick with me for the next few minutes, we'll talk about what, is, what do the numbers and letters mean and, and what ones do I use? Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. Thanks. Here I have a set of drawing pencils that somebody left behind and you can see so many numbers in the set. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what do each of those numbers mean? Drawing pencils are manufactured with two ingredients. One is graphite and the other is clay. When you have a high level of graphite and a low level of clay, you get a darker pencil. When you have a high level of clay and a low level of graphite, then you get a lighter pencil. Pencils with a high clay content produce lighter marks and they're designated by the H symbol. So H equals harder. And the higher the number, the lighter the pencil is going to be. So a 9H would be much lighter than a 2H. Pencils with a low clay content and a high graphite content produce darker marks and they're designated by the letter B. So the higher the number, the darker the pencil is going to be. Those cheap yellow number two pencils are actually about a 2B in the drawing pencil spectrum. So I like to keep a few on hand as a cheap alternative. I also love these mechanical pencils. I find them super useful, not only for their eraser, but for doing some fine line work. So keep a few on hand. The reality is that pencil manufacturers love to sell us pencils and we love to buy them. But how many pencils do you actually need? Well, the reality is if you can control your pressure and you can shade very well, then you actually don't need more than four or five drawing pencils. Personally, I like to keep a high, middle, and low value pencil. So often I'll use a four or a six H, a two, four, or six B. No two pencil manufacturers make their leads exactly the same. So you're gonna have to experiment a little bit between brands. As you can see in the following two images, I tried out six different brands of 6B. Some were better than others with the Faber-Castell being the most consistent and not having a crumbling wood casing. In the second image with the Artist Loft pencils, those actually crumbled and broke a lot. The wood casing was poor and the drawing d results were kind of inconsistent. I would choose the highest quality pencil that you can afford so you get the best results. 